All of us are curious to know what lies within the Earth. It would appear that the best method to investigate the interior of the Earth is to dig a hole straight down. For both commercial and scientific reasons, many holes have been drilled. However, despite our best efforts, we have only really managed to scratch the surface of the Earth. So the thought of actually putting together a list of the top 10 deepest holes on Earth came to mind. If you want to be stunned and amazed, watch this video to the end, subscribe to the channel, grab some snacks, and let's go. 10. The Bingham Canyon Mine, Utah The Bingham Canyon Mine, commonly known as the Kennecott Copper Mine, is situated in Utah, United States. It is one of the largest artificial excavations in the world and one of the deepest open pit copper mines. The Kennecott Copper Project is solely owned by Rio Tinto, and it is run by Kennecott Utah Copper, a division of Rio Tinto. The Kennecott Mine, Copperton Concentrator, and Garfield Smelter make up one of the biggest and most modern integrated copper enterprises in the world. In 2021, 159,400 T of copper, 139,500 ounces of gold, 7,600 T of molybdenum, and 2.22 million ounces Mas, of silver were produced from the mine. 9. The Glomar Challenger Core Site, Mariana Trench Around the southernmost point of the Mariana Trench, the Challenger Deep is located in the western Pacific Ocean near the Mariana Islands at the southernmost point of the Mariana Trench. The Challenger Deep has a depth of 10,902 to 10,929 m, 35,768 to 35,856 feet, which has been directly recorded by deep diving submersibles, remotely operated underwater vehicles, and benthic landers. Sonar bathymetry has, sometimes, revealed a marginally deeper depth. 8. Xiaozhai Tiankeng, China The largest and deepest sinkhole in the Shangxi Cluster is the Xiaozhai Tiankeng, also known as the Xiaozhai Heavenly Pit. It is situated in China's Chongqing Municipality's Fengjia County. The Xiaozhai Tiankeng has vertical walls and is 626 meters, 2,054 feet, long, 537 meters, 1,762 feet, and between 511 and 662 meters, 1,677 to 2,172 feet, deep. The local population has long been aware of the Xiaozhai Tiankeng. The name of a nearby abandoned village, Xiaozhai, which translates to small village, and Tiankeng, which means heavenly pit, are two distinctive regional names for sinkholes in China. Tourism has been made easier by the construction of a 2,800-step stairway. 7. Bertha Rogers Gas Well, USA The Lone Star Producing Company 1-27, to the Bertha Rogers Hole or Well was an oil exploration hole dug in 1974 in Washita County, Oklahoma. The largest land-based drilling rig in the world was used for the drilling. The Laughlin Brothers Rig 32 Lone Star reached 31,441 feet 9,583 meters on April 13, 1974, a little over a year and a half after the drilling operation began on October 25, 1972. At 4.000 meters, gas was found, and the well continued to produce gas until July 1997. The Bertha Rogers well was blocked and left unattended. 6. The Diavik Diamond Mine, Canada In the North Slave region of the Northwest Territories in Canada, 300 kilometers northeast of Yellowknife, is the Diavik Diamond Mine, a diamond mine. Production started in January 2003 after the land was studied in 1992 and building started in 2001. It is made up of four kimberlite pipelines connected to the Lac de Gras kimberlite field. The distance from the Arctic Circle to it is around 220 kilometers. 5. The Berkeley Pit Butte, Montana The Diavik in Butte is a former open pit copper mine known as the Berkeley Pit. It measures 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers, length by half a mile, 800 m, wide and is about 1,780 feet deep. 
Starting in 1955 and running until 1982, the Berkeley Pit was a sizable truck-operated open-pit copper mine. Nearly 1.5 billion tons of material, including more than 290 million tons of copper ore, had been taken out of the pit by the year 1980. The Berkeley Pit is one of the biggest Superfund sites right now. With dissolved oxygen in the water, pyrite and sulfide minerals in the ore and wall rocks can decompose and release acid. 4. The Chuquicamata Copper Mine, Chile The largest open pit copper mine in the world in terms of excavated volume is Chuquicamata, also known as Chuca for short. At 2,850 m above sea level, it is situated in the north of Chile, close outside Calama. The installation of flotation and smelting facilities in 1952 and the extension of the refining facilities in 1968 allowed for the production of 500,000 tons of copper annually by the late 1970s. The mine, which was formerly a part of Anaconda Copper, is now owned and run by Chilean state-owned firm Codelco. Approximately 1,650 kilometers km north of Santiago, Chile, and the Codelco Norte Division is where you'll find the Chuquicamata Copper Mine. It is situated inside the Chuca Porphyry Complex, an intrusive complex with a north-northeast trend. The mineralization at the project site is governed by a regional fault that is 4 to 6 meters thick and 150 to 200 meters broad. The project's most noticeable rock types have been identified as granodiorites and porphyries in contact with the West Fault. In addition to porphyries, the project contains a significant quartz sericitic rock body on the eastern side of the West Fault. 3. The Kaimei Core Site, Japan Trench On May 14th, the crew of the Japanese research vessel Kaimei lowered a massive piston core 26,322 feet into the Japan Trench through the Pacific Ocean. Off the coast of Japan, in a subduction zone known as the Japan Trench, a 9.1 magnitude earthquake and tsunami in 2011 were centered. The goal of the record-breaking expedition, which also dug the deepest subsea level sample, was to research the local sediment in order to understand the area's past earthquake history. Previous missions to study the effects of climate change bore through glaciers. 2. The Variovkina Cave, Georgia the deepest cave in the world, Variovkina Cave in Abkhazia, is situated in the Gagra Range of the West Caucasus in the northwest of Georgia. Its length is 17,500 meters, 57,400 feet, and its depth is 2,212 meters. The massive Vervkina Cave system was only partially explored in 1968 by Soviet speleologists, who were only able to reach a depth of 115 meters, 377 feet. Oleg Parfenov's team descended a well that led to a new branch of the cave in 1983, where they measured a depth of 440 meters, 1,443 feet. New excursions at Veriovkina weren't launched by the Moscow-based Perovo Spilio and Spilia Club Perovo caving organizations until much later, in the early 2000s. 1. The Kola Superdeep Borehole, Russia The Kola Superdeep Borehole is the world's deepest artificial point and man-made hole, respectively. Locals claim that the project, which is 40,230 feet deep, is so deep that you can hear the moans of souls being tortured in hell. The drill bit was only about one-third of the way through the crust of the Earth's mantle when the project came to a grinding halt in the chaos of post-Soviet Russia, despite the Soviets spending nearly 20 years drilling this far. In 2005, the entire project was abandoned due to a lack of finance. The location has been vacant since 2008. The hole was sealed off by the metal cap that is still visible, seemingly to keep out any demons or mysteries that might be hidden beneath. However, despite being the deepest hole ever drilled below the earth, you won't be able to look through it if you visit the now abandoned site. If you found this video amazing and helpful, please make use of the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so you won't miss out on our amazing videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.